they are <laughs> telling me that my wrist is going to fit into this, and it's $96,000, so I'm a little terrified. Okay. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Everyone knows that diamonds are a girl's best friend, except maybe here in Southeast Asia, where jade is the object of every girl's fantasy. If you want the best bling in New York, you go to Cartier. If you want to put a ring on it in Mandalay, Myanmar, you go to OK Jewelry and ask for the Imperial Jade. What is the difference between Imperial Jade and regular Jade? That's a mainly depend on the color. This really green, so that's one that we call it Imperial Jade. So this one is another green, but even the bigger side, the value is not compared to this one. So this one is 42750 and this one is $68,000. All right. So jade is pretty and surprisingly expensive. But where the heck does it come from? My guide all took me to the Mandalay Jade Market so I could see the jade trade up close and personal. Normally the jade stones are from the north. Very good use of air conditioning, but it's probably the coolest market I've ever been to. Raw jade is mined in the mountains north of Myanmar and then trucked into the Mandalay Market pretty much daily. And to me, it all just look like a big pile of rocks. If I'm walking along the side of the road, so you're gonna see this enormous stone. It just looks like a stone. How do I know that this is? Because even me jade. also, I know the people at the mountain, they are experienced for this kind of the stone because they work for about 15, 20 years. And I look at the stone. Ah, oh, that's a jade or not jade? Exactly, they know that. Every day, at any given time, there are four or five thousand people here haggling over everything from raw, unprocessed jade to polished stones. Buying the right rock can mean an escape out of poverty. And I'm talking one huge payday. So this rock, if it were all green, if it were all jade. All jade, that's why it's going to be more than $3 million. Oh, wow. And what about that big rock right there? That's one's a maybe 20 or 30 million dollars. Oh, wow. I was never very lucky in Vegas, so I decided to leave the rocks alone, but I wanted to get a souvenir, so I went right back to OK Jewelry. A clear white is good, but yeah. clear green is the best. Yes, it's the best, yes. Yeah. And this one is, oh my God, $300,000? Yeah. I think I just found the Hope Diamond of J bracelets. You break it, you buy it. I am not breaking that. I'm, I'm gonna just keep it right there yeah. and probably not touch it again. Just when I'm thinking, there's absolutely no way in heck I'm gonna be able to test drive this bracelet. They bring out the magic plastic glove. They are <laughs> telling me that my wrist is gonna fit into this and not only fit in, but then be able to take off. I'm skeptical, and it's $96,000, so I'm a little terrified. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, look at that. If I paid this much money for a bracelet, I would walk around like this, just so everyone could see it. Like, hey, what? I'm hanging out. Did you notice my bracelet? Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, take a magical mystery tour with me through the most zen spot in all of Myanmar.